potatoes that just melt in your mouth. Welcome back. Today we're doing a dish that is definitely one of my favorite to cook because it's made from potatoes and I love potatoes. It's called pomme de terre fondante, fondant potatoes. Imagine a potato that has a heart outside but it's like soft and ploughy and melting in your mouth on the inside. That's what we're doing. We are going to sear them and we're going to braise them with butter and chicken stock. Lots of aromatics as well. So two things meant to be done. For us to hurry up and get cooking and for you as always to smash the subscribe button. So let's go. All right, so first we need a good potato and we're gonna go with russet because we need a potato that's going to hold itself when we cook it. We are going to trim the end and don't worry about it. I'm gonna turn them into chips or something, right? So no waste. Then we're gonna take our ring cutter and we try to get at least two potatoes out of them. Again, same thing, do not waste the peels. You can turn them into fries or peel them and make a mashed potato. All right, the next thing that's particular to fun on potatoes is the edges. We're going to smooth them using a peeler so the cylinder has has its edges, just like so. And also if you have anything to peel off, just give it a quick peel. You see those rubber? Then we're gonna put them into water for at least five minutes so the starch kind of washes away. That will give us time to prepare the rest of the garnish, which is aromatics, garlic, chicken stock, and some butter. We'll then smash the garlic with the palm of our hands, and if you think it's too hard, you can also use a knife and just apply pressure on the knife. Just be careful not to cut yourself. And then from here, we're just gonna simply peel it off. Next, we are going to take a potato and we're gonna place them onto some absorbing paper and on the bottom and at the top. And we wanna make sure we just give the good pressure really to remove as much moisture as possible. Then we'll season it on both sides. Next, I'm gonna take a cast iron and I'm gonna heat up the oil and we'll then place the potato. That's why it's important to pat dry them so there's no moisture and it doesn't spatter everywhere. We're gonna let them crust out for about like two minutes. We really wanna get that golden brown edge We'll flip them and we're gonna let them for another minute before we add the aromatics, bay leaves, rosemary and thyme, the garlic and the good chunk of butter. Then we're going to butter baste them just like you would do a steak and look at a beautiful foamy butter, make sure it doesn't burn. That's also very important so you don't have the black particles on your potatoes. Then we are going to add our chicken stock about one third of the way or halfway. You can always add more if need be through the cooking and we'll then place them in the oven at 425 and cook them for about 35 minutes. 40 minutes later. They are perfectly done, super soft on the inside, golden brown at the top. I'm gonna baste them one more time, place them onto my absorbing paper, and we are going to plate them until we can finally eat them. And here we have it, a delicious side dish, melt in your mouth potatoes. There's not quite much more better than this. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe, and the recipe will be in the description below, as always. I'm about to try this and I'm so excited. So you know what's next, I will catch you on the next episode. See you soon.